What's going on y'all? Johnson Capital Logistics here. Checking in with y'all real quick. It has been extremely, extremely long week for me and my student. Uh, we've been coast to coast, west coast, east coast, west coast, and back to east coast in the same week. Uh, had a pretty good, pretty decent revenue week, you know, especially with the economy going on right now. But, you know, it's, it's, it gets trying sometimes. So we're picking up a load now. Um, we've been waiting on this load all day today and yesterday. We've actually been waiting on a loads for 40, 50 hours now. So we're picking up this load. This load is taking us to the house. Um, it is always super, super, super important to read your notes. Always, always, always read your notes. You know, especially when you get your bill of ladings. Look at the bill of ladings. Make sure everything checks out. Um, me and my student came to find out. If you see the camera shaking, it's because they're reworking our trailer. Uh, me and my student just found out when we picked up this load. Uh, you know, it's only 36,000 pounds. We were actually on hold. We were, actually, we were waiting for two, two pallets of product um, that we've been waiting on all day today. Um, that product never showed up. So we were able to contact dispatch, dispatch contacted sales, gave us the okay to go ahead and take the order as is. But the reason you always want to check your notes, always check your or always check your bill of ladings. One, you want to make sure that they actually took, you know, that product off of your bills or it showed you where they made that change. And then two, the weight. So we have our tandems all the way forward. We checked our right way system that we have equipped in all, you know, in all of our prime trucks. My right way system on my drive showed it was just over 34. You know, a lot of people don't trust their right ways. I actually trust mine. So I know I've scaled, I've calibrated my right way system when I had a gross weight total of 79,990. So I know mine is pretty, pretty accurate. So when I saw that it was over 34, of course, I had my student drive us over to the cat scale right around the corner. Uh, and sure enough, and all, if you have to get fuel for your load, fuel first and then weigh. Completely slipped my mind. So our first weight was 34,260 on the drives. Again, sorry about the shaking. And then we needed to get, you know, just a couple of gallons of fuel, but after we fueled, it actually ended up being 34,400. Now we do have what's called an APU exemption. I don't trust that, you know. I understand it's an exemption, it's a law, but if DOT's having a bad day, they're gonna get you. So, you know, just make sure you keep up your communication with your, you know, your dispatch, your fleet manager. I let them know, you know, even though there is an exemption, you know, me as a trainer and as a CDL holder, I'm not gonna risk my CDL nor would I, you know, put my students, you know, CDL at risk either, you know, for an APU exemption, because we never know, we may hit a way station and that DOT officer's having a bad day. And guess what? Whoever's driving gets a ticket and that shows up, you know, on the reports of having overweight, you might get put out of service or they'll have to call somebody out for them to rework the load. You know, anything could happen, you know, or they could let us go. I'm not gonna risk that, nor would I risk my students, you know, because no one wants to pay a ticket if they don't have to. So we had to come back to 01. You know, they gave, you know, immediately gave us the door. We've been sitting here all day. Um, immediately gave us the door. They're reworking us now. We're gonna get out of here. But uh, just wanted to put something out real quick. Um, just to check in with y'all. Um, on my next video, I'm actually gonna have a story, uh, hopefully. But this load, like I said, this load is taking us home. So we're gonna be home uh, for quite a few, for a couple days. I'm gonna put my truck in the shop, and then whenever I get it back, uh, we'll we'll go ahead and come on out, or come on back out. Um, I might, I, I should be able to go ahead and do another video tomorrow. Um, but go ahead and put that out. Like I said, I'm gonna continue to try to post more and more um, when I can. Um, so I'll go ahead and get this out to y'all, and I'll check y'all on the next one. Y'all be safe.